Welcome to a robot Varnick. Uh, what's seeing what's inside of an old uh, cable box? This is an old cable modem box from a internet service provider. Chances are you might have one of these at your home, but because it's cable uh, cable provider property, you're too scared to open it. But you would like to see what's inside. Well, today, folks, you get your chance because this box will be demolished today. So let's get started. The first thing you see by examining the box is that there's no visible screws to use to see to get inside. It's all like it's snapped together. Obviously they don't want people opening these things up because there's no user serviceable parts inside. So but in this case we want to get inside. So you take a look and you try to see if there's any screws. Of course this is so you could see how to take apart things yourself around your home. Why not take your cable modem box apart today and see what happens? Don't try this at home, folks. This is for entertainment purposes only. So the first thing you see, there's no visible screws. If you press down on the paper labels, there's no hidden screws under there either. So you want to see how... But you'll see that there's these little push tabs where you can see how the cabinet was snapped together. So let's try pressing those, pressing those in. Like I said, folks, this is going to be demolished today. This cable box is no longer usable. You also see along the edge, it's like these end cap pieces were attached to try to keep the cabinet in place too. You can see the circuit board inside. We're getting closer. It's going to be opened up, up anytime, anytime now. You can see where there's levers in there to keep it together. You don't want the parts going flying across the room, folks, so you want to use care to open it up. It's also a good idea to wear safety goggles when you're taking something apart like this at home. Oh, we're making progress. Oh, you can see there's a heat sink in here. Obviously the battery goes, the battery, would, there's a thing here about a battery being in here. So the battery would occupy this space here and you see the battery connector there for hooking up the battery. And based on the multiple connections, there must have been different voltages tapped from the battery. Well there's not much to see here folks, it's mostly uh, integrated circuit chips and little computers computer chips so you see like a processing unit there's like a little heat sink for the chip let's see what this chip looks like it looks like a little processing chip like you'd see in a home computer like a 
good. This thing will not be used ever again. Okay, it's uh, surface mounted onto the circuit board so it doesn't come off like a regular processing chip in your home computer. Yeah, I was stuck there. You see where the power comes in so it runs the circuit board runs on DC current because the current power be provided by an outside power transformer. So there's no power transformer in here to convert AC current to DC current, for example. So the outside power power supply would provide the power to run the device. But there's not much in here to see. It's circuit board will be reworked into another work of art for example you can see where the router part of the for the users to attach computers to the modem and the broadband and must have had like the telephone where you get the online the internet based telephone service that some providers are providing to their customers who give up their landlines to continue telephone service Instead of using a cell phone and a USB port probably to provide a storage or file capacity to the home users and the cable internet. So I'm not sure if this was a cable modem or a DSL modem. It says both DSL and cable. Let me know in the comments if you know what version or how old this box was. Well this was a short video. Let's see what's underneath the circuit board. You see there's several little screws holding it together here. And you can see how all the devices are lined up along the circuit board, which kind of matches with the cabinet when it was built. They line everything up to be on one circuit board. Now this circuit board will make a nice, interesting artwork, especially when you add more decorative details to make it look different. Piece of plastic. No, this this uh, could be used as a uh, work of art for like a decorative panel of some sort. Piece of plastic casing. A uh, piece of aluminum. And a couple uh, pan head screws. Thanks for coming. Come again for another robot barn act taking things apart to see what's inside video. Or goodbye. See you next time. There's a new crazy video every week, so make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss another crazy robot barn act video. You never know what you'll see here, so subscribe so you never miss another video.